Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at cabin pressure, cabin altitude, the pressurization system, and the meaning of loss of pressurization. First, let's look at why aircraft need to be pressurized. All modern aircraft prefer flying at high altitudes. This has different advantages like improvement in the fuel efficiency and most of bad weather and turbulence effects can be avoided. However, at these high altitudes, the air density reduces, which means sufficient oxygen is not available for humans. This leads to a condition called as hypoxia, which can lead to dizziness, difficulty thinking, and eventually death. So the aircraft has to be pressurized for a safe and comfortable flight. To understand the pressurization system of an aircraft, we need to look at what is cabin pressure and cabin altitude. The altitude at which an aircraft flies is called the aircraft altitude. The cabin has to be pressurized to ensure sufficient oxygen is available to everyone on board the aircraft. The pressure which is maintained inside the cabin is known as cabin pressure. The cabin pressure would be same as the pressure a person would feel at a much lower altitude. This is known as cabin altitude. Normally, a cabin altitude of 6000 to 8000 feet is maintained, which guarantees sufficient oxygen availability. This means although the aircraft is flying at high altitudes, the cabin would feel like it is at a much lower altitude. How is the cabin pressurized? In an aircraft, the air conditioning system takes bleed air from the aircraft engines and supplies the air inside the cabin after cooling it. The pressurization system controls the amount of air available inside the cabin. This is done with an outflow valve which opens or closes depending on whether the cabin altitude has to be increased or decreased. When the outflow valve opens, the air is released from the cabin, so the cabin pressure decreases which results in an increase in the cabin altitude. When the outflow valve closes, the amount of air in the cabin increases, so the cabin pressure increases and the cabin altitude decreases. The cabin altitude is adjusted as per the flight phase using the outflow valve. Let's look at this in more detail. When the aircraft is on ground and if the doors are open, the cabin is not pressurized. The aircraft altitude and the cabin altitude are the same. When the aircraft takes off, the aircraft altitude increases and the cabin altitude is also allowed to increase by opening the outflow valve slightly. The rate of increase of the aircraft is the aircraft's vertical speed and the rate of increase of the cabin altitude is called the cabin vertical speed. The vertical speeds of the aircraft and the cabin altitude will be different but in the same direction. When the aircraft levels off at its cruise altitude, the cabin altitude will also level off at a maximum of 8000 feet. At this altitude, there is sufficient oxygen available inside the cabin. If the cabin altitude is reduced further, there will be more oxygen. However, the pressure difference between the cabin and the pressure outside the aircraft increases. So the aircraft structure has to be made stronger to withstand this pressure difference which would make the aircraft heavier. When the aircraft starts descending, the cabin altitude should also decrease. This is done by closing the outflow valve and increasing the cabin pressure. The pressurization system will try to maintain the cabin pressure same as the pressure at the landing airport. When the aircraft lands, the outflow valve opens fully in order to depressurize the aircraft. The pressurization system normally works on the information received from the onboard flight computers. Now let's look at what is meant by loss of cabin pressure. Let's consider an aircraft in flight. Due to some malfunction, if the outflow valve stays open or if there is a significant rupture in the pressurized section of the aircraft, the air will leak out. This will lead to loss of cabin pressure and an increase in the cabin altitude. This also means that the oxygen available inside the aircraft will reduce and oxygen masks have to be worn 
to prevent hypoxia. So that's all for my video on the pressurization of an aircraft. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.